actually before I start my speech, I already lost the contest. <laughs> but because I'm so uh, in the short time and maybe five days, it's impossible for me to write a great speech. So I decided to share my speech again. And some of you maybe like Aaron listen a lot of time, but you can still listen one time again. <laughs> okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? Remember the Snow White story? The evil queen was so confident. She expect to see herself the most beautiful one. But for me, I never saw myself. My dear Toastmasters and Toastmasters fellow members, who do you see on the stage right now? Is it a gorgeous girl who has unlimited potential? Or is it a confident girl who may be the next Toastmasters world champion? Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> when I look into the mirror, I saw a girl whose eyes are uncertain, looking down on the floor, lack of confidence. When I was in high school, there are two kinds of girls, very attractive, beautiful one, and talented one. Those girls seem so happy since they possess everything. She's got beauty and I only got my black skin. She's got talent and I got my airy brain. Why I just can't be like them? Why the world is just unfair? Mirror, mirror, can you tell me how to be a pretty girl. I saw a girl who has marshmallow skin, rose red cheek, sunflower smile. Ah, it's Sarah. She's such a beautiful girl that at the beginning of the first semester in college, she gathered with a boy as quickly as thunder. <laughs> She's got one, two, three, four, five. Even my fingers are not enough to count her ex-boyfriends. But for me, I also got one, two, three, four, five, more than five male friends. <laughs> so I start to observe her relationship. In the relationship, Sarah is a little princess. She likes to order request. John, I'm thirsty. Why don't you bring me a drink? John, I'm tired. Carry the bag. John, you you eat too much, buy too much, and talk too much. Because of all these demanding requests, they broke up at the end. And I finally realized that beauty is not the guarantee of owning happiness. Mirror, mirror, can you tell me? How to be a talented girl. I saw Jenny, who is so great at music, art. She has great family background, and she's also good at great academic performance. And also, the most importantly, she's good at Toastmasters. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to her, I just like an Aboriginal living in Stone Age, rubbing stones. <laughs> but the more I compared to her, the more I lost my self-esteem. Those comparison mindset makes me become ugly, negative, and struggling. My friends, do you have that problem? How long have you been doing those unmeaningful comparison. Those comparisons only push you into a suffering deep hole. And one day, Jenny, my talented friend, friend came to me and she said, Hey Jesse, I really learned a lot from you. Although you are not good at anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> but you still Put all your effort and hard work into it with perseverance. 
Jenny's warm word made me reminded that I also got my own inner beauty, my perseverance, and my curiosity. I've saved more than $120,000 NE dollars in college and went to Shanghai for that university all by myself. I joined Toastmasters more than four years and all of my public speaking skills got improved. I also played badminton more than four years, got a stronger body, and also a boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> and I finally realized that what I really want is a balanced woman with healthy mind. And I believe, step by step, I will make it. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not have standard good looking. You may not be that talented. But you can choose to throw away those comparison mindset and lead a happier life. So for this time when I said, Mirror, Mirror, can you tell me how to be a happy girl? Guess who I see? I see Toastmaster of the evening.